Alright, so lock you. Cut off on me again, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this off, man. Alright. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 4. Let's lock you. Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 6. He said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall send, Salaki, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou, thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again the devil taking him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me you know hey that's the same thing Esau is doing today man all right majority primarily to you so-called Negroes Hispanics and Native Americans man to the Israelites because what because he don't want y'all to receive uh, that salvation, man. You know, even though all of Israel ultimately is going to be saved, all right, but he doesn't. He wants you to be destroyed on this side along with him, man. All right, that's why the so-called white man, he's um, he's pushing out, he's pushing out uh, that the fact of, of being uh, so-called rich, all right, in this society, man, having a, a lot of money, all right. Verse 10, it says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Hey, man, hey. So, hey, we supposed to serve, serve uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, only, man. All right? You know, because the only way to get to the to your how is to uh, is to give honor, glory, and recognition to his son Yahweh Shai, man, who walked who walked this world perfect, man. He's our example, all right. You know, but I wanted to get uh, cause I was speaking on um, yeah, cause the fact that that we are then we are pretty much in World War Three right now, man. All right, and the scriptures prophesy of it. All right, yeah. This is Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse seven. It says, "For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in, di in diverse places." Man, all right. Hey, it was. Uh, I forgot the number, man. It was, but. It was a numerous amount of earthquakes in, um, in one month this year, man. I forget the number, I don't wanna say it. But um, it, was a, it, was a, it was definitely a lot. I wanna say 300, that's, what, that's what's on my spirit. But I'm not sure. Uh, I brought it out a few weeks ago, but I forget now. You know, but hey, it's a lot of earthquakes in diverse places. Race, nations shall rise against the nation, right? You see that, you see, uh, Iran, Russia, uh, Syria, uh, Babylon, man. All, right, all these nations are rising against each other, man. All right, China, China and Russia, they dish the U.S. dollar, man. All right, they, they, they completely hate the so-called white man, man. All right, and that's prophesied in Obadiah, Obadiah uh, verse 3. All right, let me go ahead and get that real quick. Let me just read verse 8. Matthew 24 and 8, it says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right? Hey, that's this is the beginning, man. All right, Jacob struggle, that, that's that's going to top it off. Uh, but the but the real ice on the cake is these uh, are, the, are those nuclear missiles, man. 200 million nuclear missiles hitting America, man. That's the ice on the cake. All right? But the cake itself, that's Jacob struggle. But the ice in, hey, those, those are the missiles, man. All right, well, let me go ahead and get over dial. All right, 
stop your barrel for one second. Verse 3, Salakia is verse 2. But I'm going to start at the top. Salakia. Alright. Uh, Obadiah, Obadiah, verse 1, it says, The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh and an and an ambassador is sit among the heathen. Then arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, man. Alright? Hey, the, 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 these Edomites, man, they are greatly despised, man. Alright? By these other nations, man. Alright? And, um,. Bear with me one second. Lock your bill in one second. This is the book of, uh, I wanted to get that one scripture, I couldn't find it, but, you know, they should, uh, roughly paraphrase, it says, they shall be, um, fighting against one another with swords in their hands, man. Alright? I can't find it. Uh, so I can. Yeah, I can't find it, but I'm gonna get 2nd Ezra, chapter 16. verse verse 21 I'm going to start at 19 Behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scores for amendment but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges alright hey, so even during all during the uh, great tribulation man our people, these people are still not going to turn from their wickedness. All right, they're still going to be wicked <laughs> during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Hey, the Lord is bad, man. All right, all hell breaking loose, but you still want to be wicked, man. Hey, that, that's that's the power of the Lord. All right, because because you would think that during drink, great trouble, hey, we're gonna um we're gonna uh, we're gonna finally uh, listen to what the prophets have been saying, man. You know, to get right with the Lord. All right? But at the same time, the Lord, he's putting that spirit of slumberness of among two-thirds because he wants to destroy them, man. So let me read that again. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 19 says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. 
But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. No rebellious man, stiff neck. All right. It says, behold, victuals shall be so good, shall be so, so good, cheap upon the earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, swore famine and great confusion. All right, that's what we see now, man. Great confusion in Babylon, man. All right. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. All right, hey, so you escape the hunger, man. Uh, hey, the, the sword is going to destroy you, man. All right, and that's precept in, um, in Amos. I mean, it's a good day. Amos chapter 5, verse 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai. For what end is it for you? The day of the, of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shai, is darkness and not light. As if a man did feed from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? even very dark and no brightness in it you know so hey you escape hunger man all right the, the, then the sword is going to destroy you man all right like a lion like you fleeing from a lion you put your hand on the wall you know and a snake bit you man all right there's no there's no escaping the, the judgment of the lord all right verse 23 says and uh second ezra 16 and 23 says and the dead shall be cast out as dumb and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. You know? Hey, this this earth is gonna be left desolate, man. Hey, so we gotta we gotta come back to the uh to the Lord, man. Alright? It's either you come back to the Lord or, or you or you get put to death. Alright, you get down or you lay down. Alright? Book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 15. I'm going to start at 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye, what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? All right? That's why we can't lose patience in this thing, man. All right? That's why the scriptures say in Matthew, uh, I believe it's 10 and 34, or 10 and 13. Matthew 24 and 13 says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. Alright, so we're not going to be saved if we lose patience, man. Alright? It says, verse 15, They that, so Rock 2 and 15, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be fulfilled, so like it shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy, man. Hey, so hey, we rather fall in the hands of the Lord, man. All right? If the Lord has us to be martyrs for the truth, for, for your how about Shemel Shai's sake? Hey, man, so be it, man. All right, but we're not going to willingly take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, and be chipped, and be, and be, um, you're pretty much being led by men at that point, man. All right? And if you take the chip, man, hey, you're going to, you're going to have a nuclear missile with your name on it, guaranteed. All right? So let me close out with that. All right, Revelation chapter 14. In verse 9, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast 
in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right, the fire and brimstone is a nuclear missiles, man. All right. You know, so Lord willing, the video is edifying, man. I just wanted to flow through the spirit, just go off just random topics through the spirit. Uh, we give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakako Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great middle song. Peace and blessings to the left. To the next lesson, I say Shalom.